The public has expressed mixed reactions over the government's directive on dress code in public offices. Some say it is a hindrance to the freedom of expression, while others support the directive. You can't leave home when your mother is seeing you half naked and you say, okay, you go, you are, oh, you are very smart. No, mini dresses, mini skirts, trousers, like jeans, they are not good for us. However, opposition party Uganda People's Congress is backing the new directive, noting that many public officers dress in a manner that does not portray a good image of the service, as well as going against the general acceptable standard of the community on dress code. It will be an area that will call upon the Ministry of Ethics to look through it and come up with interventions that will sensitize Ugandans because we appreciate we come from different families. Some children could have grown outside this country, some could have grown without being mentored by parents, some don't go to church. The component of prayer or praying or regulating them to go to church because when they go to church, they are normally, they are pastors normally mentor them to dress decently. The rules released yesterday outlawed the following dress code for women. Tinted or bright colored hair, braids and hair extensions, flat shoes, with the exception of being under medical prescription, blouses that expose cleavage, dresses and skirts above the knees, long nails with more than three centimeters, bright nail polish or multicolored nails, and too much makeup. The following were outlawed for men tight-fitting trousers, open shoes except under medical prescription, and anything other than black shoes is not allowed. The public now awaits implementation and penalties that will be set for breaking the directive. Report by Alusia Satwini for Urban TV.